All right, what's up, my ponyos? This is Andy Paulus with AllGamesPlayed.com. 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 Today we're doing a tutorial how to use your Nexus Player. Let's jump right into um, connecting my controller. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Here's our uh, how-to of pairing your controller. So you go down in your settings. You go down into, oops, uh, uh, right here. Uh, remote accessories. I'm actually going to delete this. I'm going to unpair it because it's not paired right now. I paired it with my other device. You're going to add an accessory. You're going to hit, I'm going to switch quickly to this. You're going to hit the power button. I'll go back. It's thinking. It's thinking. It's thinking. And then I think what you do as well is you hit these two guys. So I'm going to hit these two guys and switch back. There we go. I found it. Now on this, I'm going to hit the middle button and it'll pair with the gamepad. Pairing, pairing, pairing. Almost paired. Pairing. Now, I'll show you as well. Um, it's kind of nice if you've got four of these devices, going to show you which one's yours. We have just paired. We are successful in pairing. Um, this device, as you can see, is very similar to an Xbox controller. I'll show you my Xbox controller, except for the layout. The layout's a little bit different. Here's the Xbox through six, uh, Xbox One. Here is the Asus gamepad so you can see that the uh, thumbsticks uh, hold it up a little bit higher are in different positions the d-pads so it's more like the pro controller for the Wii U so we're gonna shift back here there it is now you can see as I click it you know here's the d-pad going up and down you can hear it um, you can hit B for back, or you can hit the back button, or you can even hit the home button, which is the circle button, which will bring you back. So that's pretty much how you pair it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, you're now connected to your Nexus player.